automate your life with routines. It seems that everyone, save for professional organizers, wishes they could be a more organized person. However, many of us love the feeling of order and tightness that comes from proper organization. One thing that is essential to creating an ordered, structured life, free from physical and mental mess, is the creation of daily routines. By creating routines that you take part in every single day, certain things will become part of your muscle memory, allowing you to maintain a sense of order. With these instructions, you will learn how to automate your life with routines, helping you keep on track with your day to day life. If you find that certain areas of your home or workspace constantly become a magnet for clutter, automating your life with a routine can help prevent this common pitfall. Habit trackers, now popular with the bullet journaling crowd, can be an effective way for anyone to automate their life. When you look at the month at a glance, you mark an X on every calendar day that you do the thing you're attempting to do regularly. For example, let's say you have the goal of tidying up your desk every single day so that when you return to work in the morning, you have a clean workspace. Starting from the first of the month on a calendar, put an X on every day that you successfully clean up your desk before leaving. At first, you may have to remind yourself to clean up your desk. You may forget once in a while. However, as this becomes a habit, you'll do it without thinking. It is now automatic, occurring like clockwork, without what feels like any additional effort from you. If the habit you're trying to make is related to cleaning, you may notice that you need less time every day to get it done once it becomes a habit. Less mess will accumulate, and you won't have to dedicate as much time to it. Another powerful method for this is an accountability partner. Find someone to take part in an automation challenge with you and hold them to their promises as well. Check in with each other on what progress you're making on automating your life. Having someone hold you accountable will make it easier to form a lasting habit. Stuck on inspiration? Well, here are a few more ways that you can automate your life with routines. 1. As mentioned earlier, cleaning up your workspace is something that needs to be done especially if you spend every day there. However, don't neglect the importance of cleaning up the inside of your computer as well. You can run programs like CCleaner on a schedule and set up an automatic file backup to ensure you never lose your data. Set it and forget it. 2. Put your bills on auto pay. Forgetting to pay bills is something all of us have gone through. Thankfully, most bill pay sites, even for things like rent and utilities, can arrange for auto payment with ease. 3. Create a schedule for maintaining your home. Break your tasks up into short bursts and do your house cleaning on regular days. For example, dedicate 20 minutes to dishes, as much time as is needed to laundry, and 30 minutes to generally declutter and organize around the house. Of course, depending on your life and needs, there are plenty of ways to automate your life with routines. It all comes down to arranging what you need and when you need it. Eventually, as habits form, you'll find it easier and easier to stay on track. Being productive and creative. To some, it may feel like work and overall productivity is the enemy of creative freedom. To those who thrive creatively, your to-do list could seem like a hindrance on your ability to explore the avenues you seek. You're stuck between the big picture and the day-to-day -day details. Trying to juggle both of these will lead to major stress and a quick burnout. There is actually a scientific reason for this. These two things require different types of thinking, generated from individual rhythms within your brain. That means the good news is, it's not just you. Thankfully, there are plenty of ways that you can balance being productive and creative. It is entirely possible to still be creative while keeping a sense of productivity to your life. Let's look at three ways that you can manage to be creative and productive at the same time. Induce psychological distance. Have you ever noticed that when you step away from a problem, you feel more inclined to come up with creative solutions for it? For example, when you hop in the shower after you get home from work, you suddenly have five ideas about how to fix the issue you've been humming and hauling over for several hours. 
That is an example of psychological distance at work. According to psychologists, psychological distance can help creativity. Our brains are more likely to think creatively about situations we aren't experiencing at the moment. In order to be creative, we need to be removed from the problem. One way you can do this is to think about another person's perspective. Think about who else is working on this problem or talking about the issue. Using this frame of reference may help you to be more creative in your solutions and problem solving. Another simple way to achieve psychological distance is to take a break and work on another project. Whenever you are feeling overwhelmed, try working on something else for a short period of time. Also, be sure to schedule regular breaks. Not only will this prevent burnout, but the psychological distance it creates will allow the creative juices to get pumping. Know when you work best. Creative thoughts tend to ebb and flow naturally during peak times of the day. This is different for everyone. Everyone is able to find their productive and creative grooves at different times of the day in different hours. If you're trying to work against your natural clock, you're not going to get things done effectively. For some people, the morning is when they see their peak productivity hours. Of course, those among us who are not morning people may think otherwise. It's based on your circadian rhythm, your personality and your schedules. Don't underestimate the importance of breaks. No one is able to focus well for longer than 120 minutes. Make sure that you're giving your brain time to relax and to reorient yourself. Take a look at what hours you notice you are most productive. Make a note of them and try to arrange your schedule around these. When you are able to focus on productivity at certain times, your creativity can flow in others. Place constraints on yourself. Creative, non-linear thinkers can sometimes benefit greatly from the right constraints placed at the right time. Now, this doesn't mean micromanagement and restriction, but instead it's about finding a fine medium between the two. You'll have heard that necessity breeds invention. Constraints will change the way that we look at the world around us and how we solve problems. It may seem that fewer rules equals more creativity, but this isn't always the case. When resources are readily available, there's less incentive to use things in innovative, groundbreaking ways. If you have ever reached something high up by standing on a chair because you didn't have a ladder, you were creative due to a constraint. If you ask someone to make a three-course dinner from 100 different ingredients versus if you ask them to make it with 10 different ones, the chef with 10 will have to come up with a more creative solution. The next time you find yourself unable to balance productivity and creativity, seek out ways that you can change the situation and flip the script. You may find that creativity lies in unexpected places and that changing your routine can make a massive difference. Breaks, the secret to productivity. By all intents and purposes, you'd expect that working more would lead to more productivity. Of course, the more time you dedicate to something, the faster you'll get it done. However, many have found that breaks are an extremely vital asset. We all love breaks, but did you know they can actually make you a better worker? Here, we'll discuss how breaks are the secret to productivity. Thinking about your regular work schedule, how many long stretches of work do you get done? Do you take breaks? If you don't have them pre-scheduled as part of your day, when was the last time you took one? If you rarely take breaks, you are not alone among salaried workers. Most of the time, the reason for this is simple. People are too busy. However, it is extremely difficult for anyone to focus on something for more than 120 minutes. Studies have shown that the brain will tend to wander, burn out, or just become muddled when it has been tasked with focusing on something for far too long. As humans, we love to multitask, even if it sometimes feels like we don't. When you take a break, you allow your brain to focus and compartmentalise everything it has taken in. You can settle and let this new information sink in, allowing you to use it more creatively and productively. When you don't take a break, you're exhausting your problem-solving capabilities. One of the best effects of having a regular break is the ability to shift your focus before returning to a problem with a fresh eye. Without regular breaks, you're running yourself and your problem-solving skills way too thin. 
you will also notice a dip in your quality of work. When you are not well rested and well focused, there is no way you'll be able to produce your very best work. Even though taking a break means you're putting in less time, the quality of the time you put in will be significantly higher. If you're only working for two hours between breaks, those hours will be much more productive than seven uninterrupted ones. Just as your body needs a rest, so does your mind. Taking a break is the secret to productivity, as it will keep you sharp, engaged, creative, and focused. Burst productivity by eating the frog. Eating the frog is a powerful tool for straightforward productivity. Anyone with an extensive to-do list may overestimate what they can get done with the limited number of hours they're given in a day. It's a quirk of human psychology, one we are all prone to. How then can one burst productivity by eating the frog? In this tutorial, we'll discuss what it means to eat the frog and how it can make the most of your goals. First, why is this task-busting method called eat the frog? It actually gets its name from a quote by Mark Twain. If it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. If you feel like you're tugged in a hundred different directions, overwhelmed with how many tasks your day-to-day -day presents you, the eat the frog method could be your key to shifting your productivity into high gear. The technique is simple. Step 1. Identify your frog. Your frog is going to be the hardest, most important task you have at hand for the day. You only need to eat one frog, remember? As Twain says, if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. Narrow your task list down to the biggest hurdle. Step 2. Eat it. Before any other task, take care of the one you have identified as the frog. Why is this important? Taking care of your biggest task prevents you from putting it off as the day goes on. You'll feel a great sense of satisfaction once you have your most difficult to-do list item out of the way. Once it's done, it's done. This leaves you free to handle everything else that needs your attention that day. Step 3. Repeat it. Small steps taken consistently will always add up to big accomplishments. They say it takes 21 days for something to become a habit. If you want to make a habit of handling your toughest task first, try repeating this productivity busting method for 21 days. You may be asking yourself why this method works. What will keep you from simply kicking back after you finish the hardest task and not address any others? As we've discussed, it is a human reaction to overestimate what you can get done in a day. Productivity systems usually end up making us feel like we're constantly behind, unable to properly keep up with the demands of our everyday workflows. That sense of failure will leave many people feeling down. They feel as if they are struggling to accomplish everything that they need to. It can cause feelings of anxiety, depression, or simply of being overwhelmed. When we feel bad, we're more likely to avoid what's making us feel that way. Instead, we seek out the things that will boost our mood in the moment. This may be social media, television or hobbies. In short, any way that we can possibly find to procrastinate. Eat the frog forces you to focus on less, even when you know you're capable of doing more. Think about a time when you have completed a difficult, arduous task. It feels good. It will fill you with a sense of accomplishment and relief. That is where the eat the frog method works. Any day that you eat the frog is off to a positive, productive start. When you eat the frog, you're making progress on something meaningful every day. Multiple studies have shown that progress is a crucial motivator of happiness and engagement at work. People feel good when they follow through on things they intended to do. When this happens, it becomes easier to handle these tasks. Because you then feel better you'll be more motivated to complete the rest of the items on your to-do list rather than sit back and call it a day. Eating the frog is a deceptively simple method for managing productivity and avoiding procrastination. If you struggle with prioritising or managing your to-do lists, try to remember that if your job is to eat a frog, eat the biggest one first. Distractions to cut out if you want to be productive. It seems, even in your dedicated workspace, the distractions are everywhere. 
we're all prone to letting our minds wander, but some elements of your surroundings may be more distracting than others. These diversions will hinder your productivity and can even stop you from getting work done in a timely manner. While technology can be endlessly useful and even essential to day-to-day -to -day work and home life, there's no doubt that online the biggest distractions are just one click away. But it isn't just social media and mobile games that can lead your mind astray. Today, we're going to tackle the distractions to cut out if you want to be productive. Chatty co-workers. It's essential, especially if you work in a position that requires teamwork, to foster a relationship between yourself and your colleagues. Daily conversations and rapport will set the basis for building a friendly, collaborative culture. Those who work in spaces with a convivial atmosphere enjoy their work and are happier all round. However, your break room banter could eventually keep you from the entire process you're at work for, getting your job done. If you have a particular co-worker or colleague who is prone to excessive chit-chat, try having a discreet, professional discussion with them about how it's affecting your work. Let them know that you're always happy to chat, but they should save it for lunch and after office hours. If your workplace allows you to wear headphones, popping them on can indicate to your colleagues that you're focused and in a work mode. They'll be less likely to interrupt you, and you can keep your mind focused on the tasks at hand. Emails. Emails are a crucial part of anyone's job, especially in the digital age. However, when your inbox feels overstuffed, you can find yourself falling into a rabbit hole of replies, forwards and follow-ups. Many of us have emails set to provide desktop notifications when they arrive. After all, we don't want to miss a crucial project update or request from our superiors. However, that notification box popping up in the corner of your screen may wind up doing more harm than good. Now, you obviously can't completely cut emails out of your day-to-day -day life. It simply isn't practical. What you can do, however, is... 1. Set your notifications to only appear on your desktop for certain groups or individuals. That way, instead of receiving a pop-up for every email, you'll only be notified when your most crucial correspondents are reaching out. 2. Designate certain times of the day to check your emails. For example, if you want to check them for 10 minutes every hour, you'll still have the remaining 50 minutes to maintain focus while still keeping on top of the messages you received. Another strategy is to work in offline mode. If you can work in a way that does not require internet access, disconnecting from your Wi-Fi will keep the emails from taking your eyes away from your work. Smartphones. Continually checking your phone will always interrupt workflow and overall focus. While it's important to stay connected to your contacts, your phone can be a dangerous portal into heavy distractions. Of course, we all love our smartphones and the people we contact with them. However, anyone can admit that their smartphones are notorious for keeping them from important work. Moving your phone elsewhere, such as in a drawer, will make it much less tempting to check. If you have the space to, keeping it out of arm's reach can prevent you from getting lost in it. If there are some notifications that you simply cannot miss, such as from your child's school, make them silent and hide them from your lock screen. Keep your phone nearby in case of an emergency, but in a way that does not lead to further diversion. Distractions happen to everyone. Even the best of us can fall victim to the siren call of chatty co-workers, endless emails and smartphone time sinks. However, minimising or cutting out these distractions will do wonders for your productivity.
How to automate your life. Everyone's life is full of obligations. We all have our own responsibilities, and it seems like you will only get more as time goes on. Even mundane, everyday tasks can eventually pile up. It's easy to get lost in these to-do lists or to become overwhelmed by the sheer number of things that need to get done in a day. Thankfully, automating your life is a solution that can easily help you take control of everything you need to do. When you automate your life, you will allow certain things to be done for you, allowing you to put your focus elsewhere. While there are countless ways to schedule, plan, and add routines to your life. These are three places you can get started on your automation journey. When you truly learn how to automate your life, you'll be well on your way to managing your time like an expert. Automatic bill pay. Barring the most responsible of us, everyone has accidentally missed the deadline of a bill by a day or two. Most people already pay the majority of their bills online. That means that automating your bill schedule will be easier than you think. Figure out all the bills that you need to pay every month and make a schedule of them. Arrange your budget so that you'll always have the needed amount of money in your account at those times. Then go to the individual websites where these bills are paid and set up an auto pay. Getting yourself initialized with automatic bill pay will help you save money on late fees and overdrafts. You simply set it and forget it, letting your bank do all of the work. Grocery delivery. These days, there are dozens of apps and programs that will allow you to cut down on the time you spend making a grocery list and trekking out to the store to pick up everything on it. Even your local grocery store chain may offer a delivery service for a small fee. Having your groceries delivered to you, especially on a set schedule, is a proactive way to automate your life. Not only does it save you time, but it can also be the key to replenishing your essentials. For example, you can set websites like Chewy or Amazon to automatically reorder cat food. Simply monitor how long it takes your cat to eat through their food, and set everything up to have it delivered before the bag is empty. Then, before you've even realised you've run out, a new stock of your kitty's lunch will be waiting at your doorstep. Meal prepping. Planning your menu or prepping your meals ahead will save you a surprising amount of time in the future. When you already know what you're going to eat, you don't have to waste time deciding what to cook. Meal prepping makes it so that most of the work is already done, meaning that even on the busiest days, you can simply finish up the cooking and have dinner on the table in no time flat. Even if you don't make them in advance, having a set meal schedule also helps you decide what groceries to purchase and what tools you will need to have ready for that night's meal. Not only does this save you time, but it will save you a lot of money. You don't have to run out to the store halfway through your recipe because you've realised you forgot milk. You also will avoid wasting food. Shopping and eating with intent means that everything will get used. There are dozens of ways to automate your life. Observe your surroundings and consider ways that you can make things easier on yourself. Master your time at the office with the Pomodoro method. Both in the workplace and at home, time management is everything. There is an observed truth called Parkinson's law. It states that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. In other words, the more time you allot to something, the more time it will take. If you give something a two-day deadline, you'll get it done in two days. If you give something a week, you'll take a week to finish it. Strict deadlines can help kickstart productivity. And it is an excellent way to combat Parkinson's law. Oftentimes, a ticking clock can be a deceptively powerful motivator. That is where the Pomodoro technique, one of the easiest productivity methods, steps in. Today, we'll be teaching you how to master your time at the office with the Pomodoro method. All you need to get started is a timer. It can be a manual one, one that's found on your watch, or one that is connected to your cell phone. Apart from that, there are no special apps, tools, or tutorials. The Pomodoro method teaches you to work with time rather than against it. This method can be broken down into six steps. One, choose a task that you need to get done. When making this decision, try to choose a task that requires your full, undivided attention. Tasks that you can be distracted from aren't recommended. Two. 
Set your Pomodoro timer to 25 minutes. During that 25 minutes, work exclusively on this task. Write, clean, study, build, whatever it is that you need to get done, buckle down and work on it for 25 uninterrupted minutes. 3. Once the timer rings, reset it and begin working again for the next 25 minutes. If while you're working you realise that you have something else that needs your attention, write the task down on another sheet of paper. 4. On that same sheet of paper, put a check mark when the Pomodoro timer rings. 5. Take a short break. Relax, stretch your legs, check your social media, do whatever you would do to let your mind rest. 6. Continue doing your task in these short bursts. Every four Pomodoros, take a longer break. In these breaks, your brain will take that time to process the information and rest before it's ready for the next round. The main idea of this productivity system is fairly simple. You face any large task or series of tasks by breaking the work down into shorter timed intervals. It will train your brain to focus for short periods. This will assist you in staying on top of deadlines. The system works cyclically. You work in short sprints to ensure that you are consistently productive and you have regular breaks that will maintain your motivation and creativity. This is an excellent cure for that feeling of burnout that many of us experience near the end of our work days. The timer allows for a sense of urgency. Instead of getting stuck in the rut of feeling like you have endless time in the workday to get things done, you know that you have only 25 minutes to make as much progress on a task as possible. If you are looking to minimise time estimation errors, improve motivation and increase your productivity, give the Pomodoro method a try. You may be amazed with how much you can get done and how much motivation at work you will be able to keep through the day. the top five books about productivity to read this year. Anyone who is looking to boost their productivity skills may be in want of a little extra help. Many decide to make their New Year's resolution one of increased productivity, but this can be a tough hurdle for some. Thankfully, there are plenty of books on the market that will show you the way to kick your productivity into high gear. Today, let's look at the top five books about productivity to read this year. 1. Atomic Habits by James Clear Atomic Habits by James Clear suggests a well-studied framework that aims to help you improve every single day. Clear details practical strategies designed to teach you exactly how to break bad habits, replacing them with better, healthier ones. Atomic Habits aims to alter your perspective on the very concepts of success and progress. With this book, you'll get the tools and strategies needed to completely revamp all of your habits. This book is excellent for those who are looking to redefine an industry as an organisation. If you have a management, coaching or leadership position, Atomic Habits may just be for you. Not that it has nothing to offer the individual. Those who have a large goal ahead of them, such as losing weight or quitting smoking, will find motivation and a new definition of progress through Clear's methods. Two. Deep Work by Cal Newport What exactly is Cal Newport referring to when he lays out the concept of deep work? Well, it turns out deep work is referring to, quote, the ability to focus without a distraction on a cognitively demanding task, unquote, as he outlines in the book. 
Deep Work explores ways that the reader can reach new levels of expertise through uninterrupted deep focus. This book discusses ways that readers can enter a state wherein they are at their most productive and creative. To add weight to his claims, Newport has provided plenty of scientific evidence and citations throughout the book. With an abundance of tips, it's fairly easy to get on board with what the author of So Good They Can't Ignore You has to say in deep work. 3. Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy Based on the vivid life advice provided by Mark Twain, the Eat the Frog method of productivity has historically helped many others to tackle lengthy to-do lists. In this guide, where Brian Tracy ambitiously outlines the ins and outs of the Eat the Frog method via 21 unique suggestions, readers will learn how to choose which of their tasks will be the most arduous and how tackling that first will make everything else fall into place. Following his method will empower readers to not just get more done, but to make sure the important things are done first. 4. The Productivity Project – Accomplishing More by Managing Your Time, Attention and Energy by Chris Bailey Author Chris Bailey once turned down a lucrative job offer in order to pursue his lifelong dream, spending a year performing a thorough analysis into the science of productivity. In his book, the Productivity Project, Accomplishing More by Managing Your Time, Attention and Energy, Bailey's determination and dedicated study is obvious throughout. This read is thoroughly engaging, meaning it is as entertaining as it is informative. Through his studied insights, Bailey informs readers on how they can be more productive at work and everywhere else in their lives. And finally, number five, the four-hour work week. Escape the nine to five, Live Anywhere and Join the New Rich by Tim Ferriss. The concept of a four-hour work week would sound luxurious to anyone. In his book, The Four-Hour Work Week, author Tim Ferriss lays out a clear blueprint to boost not only productivity, but also time management. Prior to writing his book, Ferriss gave up his usual 9-to-5, 80-hour work week. He was able to replace it with a four-hour work week and one that paid more too. The principles outlined in this book are entirely actionable. The reader is left feeling as if they can begin right away, following his path into, as the title claims, joining the new rich. The shelves are filled with books that will teach you dozens of different ways to be productive. Of course, since everyone works, lives and learns differently, there's no one-size-fits-all method. However, these five books about productivity are some of the best for anyone hoping to kickstart their productive lives. The Top 7 Tools for Productivity Productivity is one of the biggest focuses of many of today's workplaces. It has been shown that increased productivity will lead to increased revenue. While there are dozens of methods and techniques that a person can use to get productive, how can that productivity be carried over in a physical sense? What are the best tools that someone can use to ramp up their ability to complete tasks? Today we'll be discussing the top seven tools for productivity and how they can positively impact on your workflow. 1. Text Expander Text Expander is an extremely simple tool. It may seem obtuse to some, but once they see how it really works, it feels like something they never knew they were missing. Expander allows the user to assign short code to certain key bindings. For example, the user will create a code of letters or numbers that will represent their email address, mailing address, or even responses to FAQs. So, for example, if your name is John Smith and you frequently need to supply your bio to prospective clients, Text Expander will allow you to type the word JSBIO1. Text Expander will then insert your pre written bio into the place of the code. It saves valuable time and allows you to focus on the more important things. 2. Boomerang. The best thing about this handy Gmail add on is the peace of mind it provides users. Boomerang's function is simple an email, perhaps one that details a project that you want to do later and do not necessarily need to start now, will automatically arrive in your inbox again a few days later. It keeps users from getting swamped under a pile of new emails. 
When you see it at the top of your inbox again, you're instantly reminded of it and ready to get started. Those who find themselves saying, I'll get to that later, about the items in their inbox, will definitely benefit from Boomerang. 3. Asana If you do project-based work, finding a place to organise your tasks and to-dos can be a tall order. Asana is a perfect platform for teams. It allows users to assign tasks, keep people up to date on the progress of certain tasks and, most importantly, maintain accountability. 4. Todoist Todoist is incredibly handy and straightforward. It aims for high productivity, allowing users to manage their time wisely. Boasting a powerful performance, this simplified task management system and project management platform offers a ton of amazing features. The app supports text formatting hyperlinks, allowing for easier task management. You're also able to modify recurring and repeating tasks in bulk based on completion or due date. As an added bonus, it has automatic integration with Google Drive and Dropbox. 5. Toggle So simple and well executed that you may be surprised to learn that it's available for free. Toggle is a time tracking tool. However, it's also so much more than that. Toggle is equipped with an automatic task timer, a performance tracker and timesheet manager and even has a timer for the ever-handy Pomodoro method. It takes advantage of email reporting as well as analysis of where users are spending most of their time. 6. Rescue Time Rescue Time, despite its easy-to-use interface, has a full arsenal of productivity tools. This well-rounded productivity app helps you save time, track activities and goals, and provide detailed reports and trends for daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly time analysis. The app includes loggable performance highlights and allows users to track time on all devices – desktop, browser, smartphone, you name it. Predefined, customizable categories – make it easy to group tasks and web pages. Speaking of web pages, Rescue Time is capable of blocking distracting websites and apps, allowing you to focus fully on your work. 7. Notion While many productivity apps claim to be an all-in-one solution for every need, Notion is one that actually delivers. It has tons of bells and whistles, more than can be discussed in a short review. This app was built as a workspace of tools that will allow you to take notes, create visually stunning markdowns, link to documents, and even access your user databases. A clean, modern design makes Notion beautiful to look at as well. If you're looking to run a productive team, check out what Notion can do. Without a doubt, it's one of the top tools for productivity. Productivity starts with user actions. What you do at work will always create the basis for what you can achieve. However, there's no shame in getting a touch of assistance from the top seven tools for productivity. Make a shorter to-do list. Long to-do lists are always jotted down with the best of intentions. You wake up with dreams of getting everything done, leaving you to relax the rest of the day. However, overstuffing your to-do list can actually lead to you finishing just a fraction of what you set out to do. When you end the day with several unaccomplished items on the agenda, you may feel a sense of failure. A small step you can take to boost your productivity is to write a shorter to-do list. Prioritise your most important tasks and commit to finishing them in their entirety. If you begin with the hardest task first and get it out the way, everything else will feel much easier in comparison. Set a timer. Setting a timer is a deceptively simple trick, but one that can help get the power of productivity flowing. Figure out what working pace works best for you. If you usually take 25 minutes to get a task done, set a timer for that 25 minutes. Working in spurts with a timer set to alert you when it's time to take a break will work wonders for your overall work ethic.